We are back in the Kerbal Space Program, this time sending off a rocket with a fairing on it that will make Matt blush. We are going to save the truck that drove us to the South Pole. A little disclaimer, I flew a plane out to pick up the crew, um, and I currently, this is my excuse, I currently have COVID, and at some point I misplaced that footage because I, as always, am a professional YouTuber. Um, yeah, so that footage is gone. It wasn't very exciting. I just flew a plane over, picked him up, drove away. Uh, here you can see my sick plane that I have created. Our wings are folding out there. Um, disconnecting from our st fuel stage kind of does this weird thing, so I quickly uh, warp forward so it doesn't break anything, because that is a problem we had a lot. Um, this took like a whole week, a whole week worth of filming. I'm not even kidding, uh, probably four hours a day of me trying different things, trying boats, trying ferries, trying planes, trying everything. The boats weren't working for a while because I had a mod installed that made the water realistic, um, so I gave up on that. And then the planes just weren't working, so I got rid of the graphic mods I had on um, and started fiddling around again. Eventually, this is what we came out with, was this plane with um, those big cargo bays on the back. It was a lot of work, let me tell you. Uh, a lot of rage quits. Ask my wife how many times I, I left my desk and went, yeah, I hate this game. <laughs> but I always came back. Uh, here we are at the South Pole, landing roughly in the middle just because it's a big flat land. There goes our parachutes. I overkilled with the parachutes because every time I landed, oh, we death roll there, every time I landed, an engine would fall off. So I'd have to add more parachutes. Um, that was those were the problems I was having. Eventually, we managed this very soft touchdown here. Boom! There we are. So we bring out our Kerman here, and we're adding some struts to the wing. You saw me earlier while we were in orbit. I put struts on the left wing, didn't do it on the right wing, because in my mind I thought that symmetry was on and it was going to be fine. It was going to do both sides, but it didn't. Here we are back in the truck, um, where we left off. You can see it's, it's uh, where we left it, but uh, the Kerbals are gone. Luckily, it can drive itself, so that is what we did. We drove it straight to the north, or to to the middle of the South Pole, so all the people that kept saying that uh, I didn't actually make it to the South Pole because I didn't go to whatever the, the heading is, zero. Uh, it wasn't, it was for nothing, but here we go, we're going there. So as we make our way past the mountains, uh, you can see that I'm constantly having to press the left button. I'm, it's veering to the right very heavily. Uh, and we're missing some wheels, and, we're, and it, the, the truck looks a little bit more beat up than it did, and that's because I've rescued this truck about three times. Um, I got it halfway home once, um, and then uh, all heck broke loose, so I had, to, I had to literally teleport the truck back to its spot. So it, it, it's been moved before, but we're pretending like nothing happened, and it was actually there the whole time. That's why it has that dock port on top that wasn't on there before. Uh, so we, we ran into a lot of difficulties, let me tell you, with this mission. It was, it was intense. A lot of heated moments. On the horizon there is our plane, slowly meeting up with it. Our beautiful, beautiful plane, and in all its majestic glory. There we go, loading it on, and then here we are fiddling with the docking ports to get them to connect. I couldn't get the truck in there perfectly to line up, so I just kind of fudged it a bit with the engineer's welding ability, but eventually we got it connected. Um, we ran into a problem with one of our ramps would not close, so we I just kept hitting the button over and over again, hoping it was just stuck. There was nothing. I didn't put any struts or anything on it, so I don't know what was wrong with it. 
Then we quickly run around, grab all of our parachutes, repack them. Just so when we get home, when we don't have to worry about landing, this plane does not land like a plane. It's too heavy. Um, once we run out of engine power, it nose dives, so it, I couldn't safely land it. So that's hence the, all the parachutes. And then you saw me putting a strut on the tail again, just to make sure it's in one solid working piece and not uh, flailing around as we fly. I almost jumped into that engine on accident. We almost just killed her and I would have felt horrible. After Slevy, I don't want to lose another Kerbal in another horrific accident. And we have liftoff. We are heading home, finally. Uh, I think it's been about six, six Kerbal days since uh, this truck has been home. It's been a very long journey, one of the longest journeys I've ever undertaken. But uh, yeah, we're finally we're finally getting there. We had a lot of problems flying. The fuel, as it uh, got low, it, the weight around the plane would be weird. So you see me shifting it to the front a lot just to keep our nose heavier. As when our nose was heavier, it just made it easier for uh, the plane to fly. So you see me doing that a few times. Nothing to worry about, just trying to keep us in the air, <laughs> which uh, with a big plane like this was kind of hard, especially with that ramp kind of hindering our, uh, our aerodynamics. We finally see the mountains coming up on the horizon, and we are finally have a glimpse of home. There's the islands, to our left is the mountains, and there is the space center. And here is where the plane just decides it doesn't want a plane anymore, and it just starts spiraling out of control. I'm not even kidding, this happened as soon as I got to the shore. I didn't do this to be dramatic, it literally happened. Uh, so I hit the parachutes, I cut a few of the front ones off because it was a little back heavy and that kind of leveled us out a bit there and when we safely touch down back on our home continent for the first time in about six Kerbal days so we have our engineer get out remove that strut and boom our truck is on the road again uh, I don't know if you could see inside the cargo bay I had a bunch of struts kind of the truck uh, in place so it wasn't flailing around while we drove Loading up our pilot and our engineer that flew this plane here, and they're driving the truck back home, back on its maiden voyage. Maiden voyage? It's not the maiden voyage. Back on its final trip, taking the truck on its final drive. We're going to be parking at the space station where it will be a memorial of Kerbal Past. I'd like to quickly give a shout out to Scott Williams for sending me this awesome bowl and pop ore tanker. And then also this carrier class cruiser too. This thing is awesome. Holy crap. This thing's super cool. Um, I didn't use it for this mission, but if I ever get a chance to need something like this, I definitely will because these things are super cool. Uh, thank you for sending these in to me. Uh, I super appreciate it. Uh, a couple more shout outs I'd like to give um, just because I'd like to shout out Formosa. Uh, they are driving back home from the South Pole. Uh, link to their channel. It will be in the description. I'd also like to shout out my favorite podcast I listen to. I don't think they, they have enough credit 
that they deserve. Uh, it is called Believing the Bazaar. It's about cryptids and creepy things like that. Uh, if you're into that sort of thing, please check them out. Believing the Bazaar. They're not telling me to do this. They have no idea that I'm giving them a shout out. I just really enjoy their stuff. And if you enjoy it too, um, that's just a benefit. So yeah, check them out. Tell them I sent you. And I, uh, yeah, see you guys next time. If you enjoyed, like the video and do all the things. See you guys in the next one. Goodbye.